Hey guys, it's Chinginator here, and there is a new Ready Player One trailer. This isn't the first official trailer that came out, but the second one, which just came out last night, my friend Julie tagged me in it on Facebook, and I was like, I'm gonna do a reaction this time because a bunch of people were upset that I didn't do a reaction to the actual official trailer. I'm sorry about that. So let's watch this new trailer. I already see the first frame, and I'm already super excited. Oh my gosh. An 80s montage, this is great. Oh, fantastic movie. Oh. I could not have written Ready Player One if I had not grown up on a steady diet of Steven Spielberg movies. Ernest Klein. It would have been a different story or I might not have written it at all. His work is woven into the fabric of my life. Everybody, I think, who dreams of making movies dreams of getting to work with him. It's the dream come true. When I read Ready Player One, it was the most amazing flash forward and flash back at the same time. I was born in 2025, but I wish I'd grown up in the 1980s. Like Halliday and Moro, like all my heroes. I suddenly saw a future that Ernest Klein, the writer of the book, envisioned. It wasn't that far away from what I think is going to happen someday. I live here in Columbus, Ohio. In 2045, Columbus is the fastest growing city on Earth. But it sure doesn't seem like it when you live in the stacks. There's a dystopian society in the fabric of... Some new shots it's there, cool. definitely. It's a good time to escape, so virtual reality will be a super drug. They called our generation the missing millions. Missing not because we went anywhere. There's nowhere left to go. Nowhere. <laughs> IOI gloves. Ooh. I love this song. Forest of Ernie's profound imagination. Yeah. Yeah. The Oasis being the ultimate toy box with all the toys in the world, and then playing that with one of the greatest filmmakers of all time, it results in just amazing action and such a fun adventure. That was awesome. I really loved that. So I guess this was kind of like a new first look into Ready Player One because there was some new footage that we saw in there, which was really exciting to see. Like, I think we actually saw Artemis's avatar. I'm pretty sure that was Artemis. So that was really cool to see. And then you see Pars will enter this place, Holiday Journals. So that was really cool. They keep showing a lot of footage from this weird car race that's going to be happening, which I don't remember being in the book and I think I know which part of the book they're replacing for that car race. I, I won't say what for book spoilers but I'm pretty sure those who have read the book know what I'm talking about because there's one part which I remember thinking to myself how are they gonna put this in the movie because it has a lot to do with another movie so I was really curious how that was gonna play out and it makes sense that the car race is replacing that. Ernest Klein did write the screenplay for the movie so I totally trust his vision with the film version of Ready Player One but it would be really hard to do what they did with the book with that one movie property. It was really cool listening to Ernest Klein talk about his experience writing the book and Steven Spielberg's experience as well with directing this film which obviously must have been kind of a journey for him because Obviously Spielberg is such a huge part of the 80s. They showed Spielberg movies in the beginning with Indiana Jones and Back to the Future which is a Steven Spielberg produced movie. And obviously they had E.T. and a bunch of other movies. I just 
I got goosebumps and it's not just because I'm cold because I'm kind of cold but also because this is just so cool to watch and I cannot express how excited I am for this movie. I'm currently rereading the book for the third time. I have read it twice and I've also listened to the audiobook. That was actually my first time listening to it which is read by Will Wheaton. A very great audiobook. Highly recommend. This isn't sponsored by Audible. I'm not gonna do some plug-in thing. I, I'm not big enough for sponsors. <laughs> It's really interesting seeing the stacks. The stacks definitely look pretty CGI heavy, which makes sense. I'm like, how else would they make the stacks? But you see a bunch of Wade's neighbors with their Oasis rigs on, and it's so cool that you can actually envision the world that these characters live in. Like visually actually see it come to life after reading the book for all these years, actually. Here's my hardcover copy of Ready Player One. I'm too lazy to actually take it off of the shelf. <laughs> and here's my paperback copy of the book I actually have two paperback copies, uh, my original, and also I got one from Loot Crate a couple years ago, so I'm using my original paperback to read through the book again. Other than those few shots that I mentioned earlier that were new, there isn't too much else in this video that I kind of remember not seeing in the official trailer or in the teaser trailer, so it, it, it definitely left me itching for more, and I hope they do another legitimate official trailer. I was misled. I thought this was like an actual another trailer, but I'm still super happy with this. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more trailer reactions and movie reviews as well as some gaming content, and I'll see you in the next one.